What's up YouTube? It's your boy Will here. And today I got a little unboxing of this guy. This happens to be my first Glock. And by the video and by the title of the video, you probably already know what it is. Uh, so let's dive right on into it. So the Glock 43 X is nothing new to the gun community. It's been out there for a while, but this is, is kind of new to the market. I think it's only been out about a week or so. This is the Glock 43 X in the black version. Um, the original one that came out uh, is a two-tone version, a two-tone variant with a silver slide with the gray, with the gray frame. Um, you know, it was okay. Just wasn't my cup of tea. I'm uh, more of an all black everything uh, type uh, a man. So I went with the black version and I've seen other people um, post their videos for the 43X and most of them have been the two tone version. So I hadn't seen a black one out there. I figured I'd post it. And I think I've only seen um, some that have been Cerakoted black, uh, but this one actually came from the factory this way. Uh, so I wanted to post this so people can take a look at it. Um, for the gun nuts, make sure that the gun is safe. There's no mag, no no ammo around, nothing in the chamber. It is safe. Um, yeah, Glock 43X. Um, I was in the market for a concealed carry gun. I mean, there's a lot in the market right now. I mean, you got some heavy hitters. And, you know, the shield has always, you know, been good, but uh, you know, lots of talk around the uh, P365, both good and bad. Uh, I've gotten a chance to get a hand on a 365 and shoot a 365, and um, it is a great gun. Um, but I, I decided to go with the Glock 43X largely because it just felt good in the hand. This is my first Glock, you know. I've always thought Glock, you know, when I picked them up, they always felt blocky. They always felt uncomfortable to me. You know, the ergos didn't feel on, on point for me. Uh, but this one, it was amazing. As soon as I got it in hand, I, I knew that this one was a nice one. Um, and one that I wanted to look at. I even looked at the Glock 43, not the 43X, but the original Glock 43. And that one was kind of uncomfortable. It just felt too narrow, too small in the, in the grip. Um, this one just felt perfect. So, uh, I decided to go with that. Um, yeah, P365, great gun. And maybe I get one one day. I don't know, but, uh, you know, 10 round capacity in the P365 versus a 10 round capacity in the 43 X is really pretty much a wash. Um, even though this one is a little bit bigger, but that extra grip, that extra bulk to this one makes this gun very comfortable and I'm very much looking forward to getting this down range uh, to get some rounds down range with it um, other things you get in the box with the gun of course you get the gun uh, two 10 round mags a mag loader looks like you get a gun lock got plenty of those laying around um, get a cleaning brush I happened to buy my gun from Florida Gun Company. Um, yeah, I got it from Florida Gun Company, bought it online. I had a pretty good price. I don't know, I'm getting sponsored by them. They didn't give me a deal for this gun. They're not even, they don't even know I'm doing this video. I'll just give them that plug. Um, yeah, check them out if you want. I'm not gonna post anything here because I don't wanna lose my channel. Um, I know YouTube doesn't like that. Uh, but outside of that, looks like you get your usual books, manuals, cleaning care kits, probably. Um, but outside of that, that's that's pretty much it. Upgrades for this gun that I'm thinking of. You know, I mean, obviously, um, it's got the standard sights on it. That's not my favorite, even though I've, I've shot Glock before. And I've shot these sights before and did pretty good. They're okay, but um, this being a gun that I would consider carrying i would definitely want night sights on it uh so i want to upgrade those and definitely get rid of those standard stock polymer ones and my favorite is the uh true glow tfx these are fiber optic with tritium in it 
you know, they're bright in the daytime, bright at night. They work really great for me. I shoot them pretty well, so I'm excited to put, to get those upgraded. Other upgrades. Um, one of the things for me is this uh, slide stop. Slide stop. Um, it's just kind of flush and not much to grab onto. I'd like to get something a little more meaty. Again, I got big hands, so I want something with a little more meat to it. Uh, so I have a Victor Vickers Tactical extended slide stop, so I'm going to put that on there. And then outside of that, you know, I don't know. I might keep it largely stock. You know, uh, you know, perhaps I might put an extended mag release. Maybe I'll do a, uh, a steel guide rod on it. But outside of that, you know, I'm just going to kind of pretty much just clean it, oil it, shoot it, train with it. And that's, that's about it. Um, why don't we take a look at the inside? So, so yeah, I mean, pretty much new, clean, very, very dry. It's the first Glock that I've, um, first Glock that I've had. So, you know, yeah, comment below, you know, our Glocks normally, uh, this bone dry, it's no big deal. I'll, uh, clean it up and, uh, get some oil in here and, you know, lube it up. But for the most part, everything looks good. Our guy rod captured spring and barrel. Wondering how well this finish is going to last. Um, I think uh, some of the videos I've seen with the gray finish has been doing pretty well for some peoples that have either you know you know thousands of rounds through them so i'm hoping this black version held, holds up pretty well as, as well um one thing i can definitely say is you know straight out of the box without any without any uh oil on it it's super super smooth um one of the things i noticed in uh, the store when I was looking at the two-tone version is the slide kind of for the two-tone version had quite a bit of grit in it. You know, it, it felt kind of gritty, whereas this is, is very, very smooth. Um, I don't know if that matters or if it's just a matter of, you know, you got to get rounds through it. Um, but out of the box, this one is pretty smooth and I'm liking it very much. So, yes, that's. Uh, my new and first Glock, um, first Glock ever. I'm excited to have it. Um, please, thank you for watching this video. If you haven't already, subscribe below. Hit that button. It's probably somewhere around there. Hit that button to subscribe to uh, more content. Uh, if you like this video, smash that like button. I'll try to get out to the range this weekend and get some rounds down range and test this out. And if you're interested, smash that like video and then I'll make sure to post that content. Again, if you have any questions or comments, put those below in the comments. I'll be sure to respond. And if you have ideas for upgrades or any other type of future video that I can make with this gun, let me know. And I would definitely uh, be interested in it. So with that said, thank you guys very much for watching this video. Thank you for your support. Have a great day.